Okay, great. Let's start off today. Well, very good. Okay, so that salute that we've been using is actually our greeting salute, and we've been using it for opening and closing a lesson. That's not quite right. So what I want to do is teach you the proper salute for opening and closing a lesson. It's called our formal salute, okay? Um, so it's a little more complicated, so I will break it down more for you, okay? So what we're going to do is start with your right hand across your body like so and over your head, and then your left hand comes across your body and over your head, okay? So that is um, like kind of like doing backstroke, right? Backstroke, okay? As you do that, you're going to take your left foot and you're going to cross step behind and that's going to be, this is called a Chinese cross step. The left knee comes in behind that right calf. Okay, so let's do that together. Circle, circle, cross step behind. Hands come up nice and high and flat. Good. We stand up. We tee them off in front. Big circle out in front. We bring them to the side here. And we bow. Okay. Let's do that a couple of times and then I'll explain what it is. Okay? So, circle, circle, cross step, hands come up, good, tee off, back, and bow. Good. Okay, so there's a meaning behind that. Let's just go ahead and walk through it and I'll tell you the meaning of it. Okay? So when you're doing your hands like so, you're opening them up. One, you're showing you have no weapons in them. Two, you're saying, I come to you with my shoshu. So I'm turning my hips, my, my hands are moving with my body, symbolizing the unity of, of a weapon and body. So in other words, I come to you with my shoshu. So I come to you with my shoshu. These are my weapons. So I'm showing my empty hands. I'm saying these are my weapons, right? I come in mutual respect. So again, this big circle symbolizes mutual respect. And notice that it's held up nice and high. I come to learn. So open hands like a beggar okay, or to receive knowledge, right? So I come to learn and I lay my weapons down, okay? So let's do that with me, okay? So come to you with my shoshu. These are my weapons. I come in mutual respect and to learn and I lay my weapons down. Okay, and we will use this salute from here on out. We'll use this to open and close a class. So anytime we start a lesson, we start with that salute. When we close the lesson, we do the um, salute also. Incidentally, we do it also before and after forms. So when we get one day to learn forms, then we'll do the salutes at that point too. So let's go ahead and do that. So circle, circle, hands come up, tee off, back, and bow. Very good. Very good. Yes, and eyes up. Okay. So um, last time we did our snap kicks, we did inward defense, the technique where we went block, chop, heel palm, right? Let's review that slightly. Just a moment. We're going to bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And remember not to spin out on those heels, but drive with that. Okay. All right, so that's called inward defense. I don't know if I told you the name of that technique last time, but inward defense, okay? So um, we're gonna learn a new technique today. This one is against a grab. So somebody comes up behind you and they grab you, one of these with the arm locked out, right? Okay, okay so um, first off, we wanna pay attention. How are they grabbing? If they're grabbing with the thumb down, which is really kind of silly, because if you grab me with a thumb down like that, then all you gotta do is turn the wrist against the thumb and it pulls out pretty easy, right? Yeah. You'll find that any grabs like that, you can, you know, you can go against the thumb. It's something we'll cover in more detail later. But most people aren't gonna grab like that. They're gonna grab with it this way where it's stronger, right? Mm -hmm. In that case, I can't slip it out, okay? And I can't go up against the thumb because my arm's already locked up, right? Yeah. So we gotta do something differently. So let's think about, before we get into the technique, the different things we could do, right? So if you had a hold of my wrist there, you think about that. So what we've got, a couple of things, obviously, we could do our uh, kicks back in here, right? We could scrape the shins with our kick. One thing, if um, your heels, okay? Except for, especially for women that are wearing like spiky heels, 
than stomping on that instep, right? And if you missed you, just keep doing it. And if you break those toes, they're gonna be screaming in pain, right? Okay, so um, those are some options that you got with your feet. You could also buckle the knee just by kicking across to that knee. Um, yeah, so from here, I can pop into that knee over there. Okay, got it, because kind of across this way. That knee is a tender, you know, a weak spot, right? Okay. Yeah. One thing you can do is you can hook the legs here. So if I go behind and I kind of sit down, that's an option. So yeah, that locks the knee out also, right? Other things you have um, is the back of your head, their, their nose is probably about right there, right? So if you just slammed your head back, you probably just broke their nose, right? Okay, you could pop straight back. If your elbow is free, then that elbow, you don't want to wind it up because they'll see that coming, but if you went straight back, you could get the point of that elbow into those floating ribs. That might loosen them up, right? You could pop the groin. So if you just shift your hip out of the way, you slap the groin, they'll think about maybe loosening up, right? Or what if you went slap and grab and hold on as tight as you could, right? Yeah, not very nice, but they're probably going to think about what, what if you slap, grab, and pull really hard they're, yeah, they're letting go, right? Well, when you pull, they bend over. They bend over to get away, and their chin is right there. So now you elbow them the chin. So slap the groin, grab, pull, right? Or any combination of all those things put together. Okay, be creative. <laughs> do, do do the whole create all that together. But the point is, is that there's a whole bunch you can do, right? There's a lot of things you can do. Mo most people, what they do is they just struggle against this, and it makes it worse. Okay, we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do here is the first thing you want to do is you want to bring your elbow straight up over the top and that what we're going to do is we're going to come down on their nose. Okay, so we're going to step back to a horse and hit with them in the nose with that elbow. If they're really tall, that elbow just becomes a hammer fist. No big deal, right? So you can even think about it as firing the hammer fist and something's going to hit, right? Now when you do this, you want to make sure that your elbow comes way up over the top. Because if you don't come way up over the top, here kind of kind of come to the side there, you're not going to get past my arm, right? But if you come way over the top and down, see how you trap my arm out of your way? Yeah. Yeah, so you want to come over the top and down. So go ahead and do that over the top and down. Good. Now. Most people, when they do this, they think, oh, I don't want to step where my opponent is, right? I don't want to invade his space, right? That's not the proper thinking, is it? Okay? What you want to think about is step right through your opponent. Okay. So when you do this, he's about right there. You want to step through where he was. So he's kind of buckled back here. What, remember, I think I told you that the first rule of any shoujo technique is take your opponent's center line. Maybe I didn't tell you that, but now I did. Okay, okay first rule. Uh, so a shoujo technique, take your opponent's center line. So if we step through here and elbow them, then they're like this and we've taken their center line. Their weight is back on their heels, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. So bring your elbow up nice and high. Good. Step back to a horse and not around me, right into me, right? Take through them, right? Yeah, you don't care if you have to drive through their legs to do it, right? Just go right through them, okay? so. Again, over the top and drive through them. Right, so now they're back like this and they have a broken nose, okay? okay? All right, from there, it's gonna be really easy to just drop your fist and hammer fist them in the groin, right? Because they're back like this and that position is, means hit me in the groin, so that's what you do, right? All right, so again, over the top, elbow or hammer fist, depending on how tall, hammer fist the groin. Now, do we don't need to look at their groin, do we? No. We just simply, oh, everybody's groin's in the same place, right? So, pretty easy, right? Let's try that. So, oh, you know what? I did not tell you. The first thing you wanna do back there is grab. So, you don't want this guy to get away. So when I grab you like this, when you start, you just grab my wrist, right? Because you don't want him to get away, right? So, Again, pretty easy, it's right there. And if you can't get it right at the start, when you start to turn, you can grab, right? Okay, so again, grab, bring that up over the top, step back, elbow, good. Hammer fist to the groin, 
Good. All right, now you try that. Again. So, step back, grab, elbow to the noise, nose, hammer fist to the groin. Good. Now, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to step out in that direction and go ahead and step out there and spin around. Awesome job there. All right. Very good. Okay, so by doing that, you made a big circle with that arm that whips it out and it locks out the arm, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Ready? Grab, step back, elbow, hammer fist, good, spin around. Very good, very good. Okay, now when you do that, you want a cover hand. Remember we talked about turning around and you make sure you cover your face when you do it, right? So you grab, you elbow, you hammer fist. I start with my cover hand when I start to spin, and then when I come around, that cover hand is there. What if somebody else threw a punch? We could block it over here, right? It's ready to go. Good. All right, so let's try that. Ready? Grab, elbow, hammer fist. Good. Spin around. Good. Cover hand. Right. Very good. Now, remember your snap kick you already learned, right? That left leg is lined up with my ribs pretty good, so your heel toe to the opponent like usual. So you go ahead and kick right there in the ribs, right? Go ahead and do that. Kick in the ribs, right, good. And this is all locked out, chin gnaw on the arm there, the joints are all locked, and you're gonna take those ribs, okay? All right, so let's do that in the air. Grab, step back, hammer fist, step out, good. There you go. So there's gonna be, yeah, pulling off at this 45 over here, that's correct, and snap kick. Good. Now you've got a hold of his arm, you've got your left hand here, right? What you do is make a fist with your left, your left hand, and that's gonna come down on the back of the elbow. Now what we wanna do, so if I was, had your arm like here, this is gonna come like this, and right above the elbow there's like a little divot right there, right? We're gonna take that and we're gonna take this bone right here, and we're gonna take that in the back of that, and we're gonna roll it, right? So if, you know, you're pretty big and strong, if I had pushed into this and you resist, then this is just a matter of who's stronger, right? Yeah. Right? But keep resisting there. Now, strength doesn't matter, right? No. Because you roll across that joint. Now we're not fighting strength on strength, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do that. So I'll let you do that on me. So grab, step back, elbow, hammer fist, good. Step around, good. Snap kick, good. Now put that arm right in there, good. Now step into a good horse, finger. yeah, like that, and take that down. Okay. There you go, you got the idea? Yeah. I think you got the idea, okay? So make a fist with that, and then you can lock that out. And make sure when you take somebody down on an arm bar, mm -hmm. that you check their hip here. Because if you have space in there, they can reverse on it. But as you come in, see I check into the hip, and that keeps them from reverse. It force you to do that little step over there. Okay, and that keeps them off balance and they can't reverse okay. it, okay? All right, so let's do that in the air. Grab, elbow goes over the top. Elbow, hammer fist, hammer fist. Good, step around. There you go, cover hand up, good. Snap kick, and arm bar checking the hip. Very good, keep your eyes up. You don't need to look down at this guy. You're looking around here and you have this guy in control. Make sense? Yeah. Excellent, okay, so let's go ahead and close up our lesson then. Ready, new salute. Good. Very good job.